Okay, so now we're going to look at some of the basics in Excel and of uh, uh, statistics. Uh, the mean, median, mode. We're going to talk about how to count the rows. We're going to do minimum, maximum range. And then we're going to talk about the quartile as well as the percentiles. So here we have some data from the World Bank. It has the GDP population and the mortality of five-year-olds out of a thousand for each one of the countries. Now, we had spoken in some of the other lectures about the mean, median, and mode. We're going to go over that a little bit here in Excel. But in Excel, we don't actually have a median, but we do have the average. They're the same thing as we had mentioned. And we're going to choose the average. Now, what we do is we type in the word average, and it kind of begins the formula for us. What we'll then do is we'll choose the entire set of cells, which you can see here goes from D6 all the way down to D200. So we'll choose that. Once we do that, you'll see that it gives us our GDP number. So what we'll do is we'll copy that formula for the population and the mortality rate as well. So it's pretty simple. We could basically do the average and we can redo the formula. We can copy it across. And Excel is smart enough to know that if we had started with this column for GDP and we copy it over to the next column over, it wants to give you the average of the column that corresponds to the same range of cells one column over. Then we do the same thing for the third column, and that would be two columns over. Now, in the case of the median, we're looking for the middle number. So we do the same thing. We do have a median function. We take our median. We then choose the range of cells that we're going to select. And you'll see that it gives us the median. We can then copy these cells for population and mortality, and it will give us the median for those numbers. Now, it's important to remember for median, we're just going to do a small uh, sample here, but if I had 1, 3, 5, 5, 7, so, or 6, 7, 9, the median would be the middle number when they're ordered. So here you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You look at the middle number, and it would be 5 in that case. If, however, we basically had an even number of items, 1, 3, 5, 5, 7, 9, we would basically take the average of the two middle numbers, which in this case would be 5 if we had done that. And if this was 4, then the median would be the average of the two middle numbers, which would be 4.5. And Excel will do that automatically for you when you use the median function. The mode is the most frequent number. And we're going to basically do the mode for, not for the GDP, because the, if you look at the GDP numbers over here, they're all pretty unique. And the same thing with the population. Again, they're all pretty unique. Uh, but in the case of the mortality rates, uh, it's not quite the same. So what we're going to do is we want to find out what is the most frequent number. So we choose the mode function. And again, I'm going to choose the entire range of cells. And you'll see that it gives us the mode for the mortality rate is 4. So the most frequent number there is actually 4. Now on the total count of rows, we're going to use a function called COUNTIF. Now COUNTIF takes two parameters. It takes the range and the criteria. So the range we kind of know, it's D6 through D200, because we've done that a couple times now. The criteria is a little bit different. Now, if I want to count all of the rows, since they're all numbers, I basically can say, well, count them all if they're greater than zero. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to basically give it a formula here of greater than zero. Notice how I put that in double quotes. And this says, count, give us a count if the rows are from D6 to D200 are greater than zero. When I enter, you'll see that it's 195. And that makes sense, because we go from 6 all the way down to 200. And that'll give us our 195 rows. I can copy this over to the population, and I should get the same thing. Now, for the mortality, it'll be a little bit different, because you're going to notice that we do have some zeros here. So if I were to copy this over, that same formula over, it changes to 182. And that's because since the formula said greater than zero, it will not include those numbers that are greater than zero in the list. So that's why the number is 182. Now, for the minimum and maximum, we have the simple formulas of min. Again, we'll use the same range, D6 through D200. And that'll give us our minimum. If I do the same thing for maximum, D6 through D200, that'll give us our maximum. Now, if I want the range, I'm actually just going to subtract the maximum from the minimum. So we'll do a simple formula. It says take this minus this one i12 minus i11, and that's the range of numbers. 
when I basically go copy that over, you'll see that those are my total, the minimums, maximums, and the actual range of mortality, population, and GDP. Now the quartiles basically segment the data into four parts. We have our first quartile, which basically says 25% of the numbers will fall below that. The second quartile, which means 50% of the numbers will fall below that number. The third quartile, which is 75% of the numbers will fall below that. So in this case for GDP, we say we want to understand what is the first quartile. So I will find my function called quartile. I will give it my array D6 through D200 and say give me the first quartile. So tell me the number where 25% of the numbers will fall below it. So when I do the 20, I'm going to run the quartile function and I'll say from D6 through D200 and the first quartile and that will give me all of the numbers that will fall 25% or below. So 25% of the numbers will fall below this 7,647. I can do the same thing for the second quartile by using the quartile function, D6 through D200. And in this case, the second quartile. So this will be the midpoint. And then all 50% of the numbers will fall below this number. And finally, I can do the third quartile. Third quartile and that will give me 75% of the numbers will fall below that number. I copy this across and those are the numbers for the quartiles for the population and mortality. Now the percentiles are very similar to the quartile except instead of 25% of the numbers I'm looking for the nth percentile so the first quartile of 25% would be the 25th percentile. The second quartile would be the 50th percentile. But I'm going to use a different formula here to find things like the 5th percentile. So I'll use my percentile formula. Again, I'll use the same range. And this time, if I want the 5th percentile, I have to use 0 .05. 0 0.05 is the number for the 5th percentile. And that basically says that the lower 5% will fall below this number, 778.7. If I want to look at the next one, which is the 50th percentile, I'm going to put in my array with the 0 0.50 for the 50th percentile. And you'll see it's 32996, which corresponds exactly to the second quartile, like we said. Now the 75th percentile should fall in line with the third quartile, so I'm going to use my percentile function, D6, D200, 0.75 for the 75th percentile, and you'll see that that matches as well as my third quartile. And finally, a lot of times we want to know the 90th percentile, we want to know what the top 10% of the numbers will be above, or 90% will be below, so we use our percentile function once again and we use our 0 0.90 for the 90th percentile and so 90th 90 percent of the of the numbers will fall below this 649058.2 I can then copy the formula over and get the same things for the population and the mortality so that gives us our mean median and mode the average the middle number most frequent the total count of rows which can be done with any criteria the minimum the maximum and the range of numbers the first, second, and third quartiles, which correspond to 25% or below, 50% or below, 75% or below, and the obvious percentile of the fifth, percent, fifth percentile, which would be 5% below that, 50th percentile, which corresponds to our second quartile or the median point, and 75th percentile and the 90th percentile.